Hi guys, did a video the other day showing that I'd repaired the charger for the Black & Decker 18 volt NICAD battery pack that goes in this strimmer, goes in just there, and I had said it really wasn't worthwhile because the NICAD batteries in here are pretty dead anyway, and it holds charge for about five minutes. So really not worth the effort. It was just an interesting thing to do. So today I was thinking I might look at using the little or Parkside battery, because I know that there is an adapter on Tinkercad that you can download and print the pieces and make up your adapter. So I had a look. Um, the one by Gore Design, what he does is he uses the top half of this battery. So he's got the connectors and the clamp latching mechanism, that sort of thing. And then he's printed a bit to go underneath that. And then he's printed a bit for this to slot into. Which is fine, and I'm absolutely certain it'll work. But I thought I'd have a go at designing my own. So at the moment, I'm on, uh, what should we call it, stage one. I've taken the dimensions off the battery, off that battery. And I'm printing just the center section that I can put a couple of tags in. And then I did show in a previous video on this one, we've already got an adapter that'll go on there with a uh, is it XT connector. Yeah, XT60. Yeah, XT60 connector. And then I've got female one of them that I could put on the bit that I'm making. So we'll have the, the right pins going into the slot. We'll go into a female one of them. And then that one plugs into it. And then we can use that. That should work. But then, so I say, that'll be stage one. Stage two will be to make it a little bit neater. So that'll sit up on there somehow hopefully and then we can slot that in i mean as it is all i really need to do is put a couple of spade ends on the end of this cable and push them in and that will work obviously you've got the problem the spade ends might touch and short that battery out so i could make a little adapter very similar to that and surpri surprisingly enough, I have actually tried that one. Doesn't quite fit. Also, the pit, the pins are in the wrong place on that one. But I could make a little adapter just like that, so we can put that in there, and then cable tie that under there, and it'll work. So there's there's that would be the simplest way. So simple little adapter like that to go in there. And then that one already goes in there. That came from bigclive.com. He did the, vid the video on doing that little adapter bit. And that'll work. But I just thought it might be nice if I sort of copied that shape so we can slot it in and then fit it all together. So that's where we are at the moment. I've designed it. Uh, 3D printing it, that will be stage one. If that works, we might do the pretty version that will actually hold that all in place. I kept saying we could do the simple fix and that would do the job. So I thought I'd better do the simple fix and demonstrate it. So this is the lead I already ha had made up for the Parkside battery or little battery with the XT connector on it. So all that I've done, and I've got to hold it carefully because it's not strapped in place, is I put two spade connectors on the end 
of another lead with a female XT connector on it. So that's all. This is temporary. This isn't the final job, but that will fix in there. So if I hold that in place and press the button, you can probably hear that is working. And that battery says it's 20 volts. The original was 18 volts. Both of them would show more fully charged anyway. I think this one's got about 21 or 22 volts in it. But yeah, that clearly works. And you could just put a cable tie around there and that'll be job done. So that's the simple fix. The problem with the fact that I haven't got that strapped in at all is I could accidentally pull that out and have two bare um, tags, live tags that could short together and upset the battery. So at the very least, we ought to do a little connector piece that holds that in place. But if I just pull that off there so we're safe. Yeah, what I'm saying is you could just pull that out and then you've got those two blowing around in the breeze and you accidentally short them together and you've upset your battery. It's also worth knowing this is the positive on that side there. On the park side, if that was in there that way up, the positive's right over on that side and the negative is where the positive is. Which is irrelevant because you're not going to be doing that because that won't fit. But I just thought I'd mention that positive over there. If it was that way in, it would be right over there. Because you could cut this away and with a bit of jiggery pokery and probably a bit of rewiring in there, you might even, nah, not quite, not easily anyway. So I just thought I'd add that bit. That would be the quick and easy fix. You wouldn't need that connector in the middle. You just need... Is that going to fall over? Yeah. You just need four of these spade ends, two to go into your adapter to go into the little, and two to go into a similar shaped adapter, not the same, but similar one, to hold it in place and make sure you get it right when you push it in there. And then, as I say, cable tie around the lock, just to hold that in place because that fits nicer upside down than it does if you try and put it the right way up. That almost looks like it's supposed to go there. Well, this is just finished printing, so I might as well show it to you. So this is just a test piece to check that I've got the dimensions right. It's not actually the finished article. But you saw I made those that lead up earlier. So that's the spade terminals. So that slides in there. And you have to push it because there's springs in there. Just push it against the springs. And there we go. And I'll put a bit of hot glue in those slots. Let's bring it back up so you can actually see it. Right, push it in. They make contact up there. So I'll put some hot glue in there to actually hold them forwards so they can actually move backwards at the moment. Well, those aren't the final items anyway. But this is just to check, as I say check my measurements and dimensions and that fits in there quite nicely. If I hadn't actually copied the original model and didn't bother about these bits going forwards, just these pieces, but leave those bits off, then the springs wouldn't be pushing against them, which is another option because if I keep it this way, 
then I need to replicate the ratchet effect or the lock that goes just there. The hook that goes into that slot. I'm very tempted to do away with that bit so we don't have the spring. So it'll just stay in place without the lock. I'll think about that. Or I might, no, I suppose I could do a simple lock. Something that just springs in place with a lever to remove it. But what we've got to do next is do the bit for the little battery to go on top of it. Still, that'll do for now. I haven't actually expected to get that done in time to get it into the video before I edit it. Just demonstrate. So I've got it plugged into the battery now. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.